This is Hardcore Minecraft, where one wrong move meant the end of my series. So I'm starting a brand new world in the 1.21 snapshots, and my goals are to beat the game, build my base, and, because people complained about it last season, get myself some netherite. But I'm not alone in this adventure. Soon, I'll meet Poe, a panda who would become my best friend in this world. But first, what do you think about that, Mr. Chicken? Alright then. Ooh, is that a cave? No. No, it's just some stone. Well, at least I can make a stone pickaxe while I'm here. Ooh, is that a... That's a dark oak forest. Yeah, I'm definitely heading this direction. And I've got my first piece of iron here, too. Hello, cows. I'm sorry to do this, but I really need food. This is going to be a really good opportunity to get a lot of wood. This is going to be a really good opportunity to get a lot of wood. Man, I'm just so insightful. Oh, and I threw my axe. I'm going to go ahead and smelt some of my food here while I'm getting some wood. You know, I've gotten used to using a totem, so using a shield feels really weird. And that right there is a jungle. Hello, sheep. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we're in the jungle now. Yay. Isn't that great, Mr. Chicken? How did you get here from spawn? I should go back for that spawn chicken. Is that a panda? Dude, that's a panda. Wait, I, I, want, I want a panda. I want a panda. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Um, oh, that is, that is adorable. Here, here, here's what we're going to do. You're going to get in a boat. That was really easy. You just... All right, let's just go ahead and make some fences. I'm just going to fence this guy in. Hopefully nothing happens to him because I really want to keep this panda. With my new friend secured, I scoped out the area, finding ruined portal, a potential spot to build my base, and most importantly, a cave. Uh, oh, that's not a creeper. This is an emerald. Two emeralds. Three emeralds. Oh, and there's a geode here. That's cool. Um, not really sure what I'm going to do with this, but... Ooh and iron pickaxe there is redstone there but i don't think i'm gonna prioritize that at the moment because darn it. i was really hoping that there'd be diamonds right there and then i could just say because there's diamonds right there oh yeah dramatic effect all right let's grab our first diamond see if there's anything around which there is you always check around ores um any other ores nah i don't need those lots of iron though this is fantastic more iron in this Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, I will be back. I'll be back. I promise I'll be back. I'm sorry. What I want to grab. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll grab him. I'll grab him. I'm just kidding. Oh. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a diamond. Man, you're really good at this game, spider. I can't believe I missed those. I'm trying to find... Where was that entrance I found? Was it over here? I think it was right here. Okay, skeletons. More iron up there. More iron right here. Let's just go ahead and grab as much iron as I possibly can. One, two, three. Diamond. Oh, wait, there's more. What? Did I seriously just un uncover a seven vein of diamonds? That's crazy. That is a lot of iron. Hold on. All right, I think I have enough. I have enough. I'm good. Oh, there's a chest. It has some torches, glowberries, bread, and name tag. I want that name tag because I want my panda to have a name. Hello, Poe, you're still here. Yeah, I know, I kind of trapped you in there, but uh, that's that's fine. Since I have so much stuff on me, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make a little shack here next to Poe. Perfect amount of slabs, it was meant to be. Poe's, Poe's, pan, Poe's, Poe, Poe the panda corner. While waiting for my ores to smell, I used the name tag on Poe, planted some sugarcane, and crafted some diamond armor, using my leftover diamonds to make an enchantment table. I found a shipwreck hoping to get more books, but all I got was a lollipop. I also found a wandering trader who sold me an invisibility potion. I have no idea why I did this, but that gave me the idea to search for a village, and I found one that was next to a pillager outpost, which had this goat horn. You know what? I have some levels. I think I want to enchant my gear a little bit. And now I have fully enchanted diamond armor and tools with uh, a really crappy enchants, but it, it, it's fine. You want some more bamboo, buddy? Here you go. Let's switch gears. It's time to head to the nether. And I think I definitely want to bring a cauldron and another bucket. The reason being is that you can fill up a cauldron with water and you can still use that water in the nether. Poe, you're going to have to man the fortress, okay, buddy? Let's see if I can go find a lava lake. Maybe I can head off into that dark oak forest I found earlier or off in that direction. And maybe there'll be a lava lake over there.
Okay, there's a cherry tree. Oh, there's a cherry biome. Okay, there we go. Oh, and there's a village there too. 28 hay bales is pretty good. Uh, nothing else this way. Lava lake! There's a lava lake, finally! Okay, hold on a second. I want to see what you got to trade, Mr. Villager. There's not. There's literally no one in here. Okay. Hello, lava lake. Um, as much as it'd be funny to mess this up, I'd rather not, so... All right, I'm in the bo- Ooh, this is bad. All right, bad location. It looks like I'm in a crimson forest. There is open air right there. Oh, here we go. That's a lot of hoglins. There's a warp forest right here. Let's go ahead and head to the warp forest. I think I can get some ender pearls here. Enderman, would you like to be in the boat? Right, right there. You drop anything? No, you didn't. You're completely lame. Other enderman, would you like to be part of the boat squad? Still nothing. Dude. You guys look fantastic. I have never once seen better looking Endermen in boats than you guys. And this should be the last Enderman. 16 Ender Pearls, that's what I wanted. Which means I now need to find the fortress. But luckily, with the power of editing, we can skip past the 10 minutes of me running around like a nincompoop and get to the good part. Wait, is that a Basalt Delta? Wait, wait. There we go. Oh, oh, a fortress, a fortress. Wait, there's one right here. There's one right here. Play spawner. Let's go ahead and block this off. Let's go ahead and block this off because it's something like that. Yeah. What are you going to do about that now, Mr. Blaze? Huh? Wait a minute. Yeah. Getting these blaze rods should be no problem. Ow, ow, fire, ow, need water. All right, that's enough of that. I've got what I needed. I can now, uh, I could go to the end. That's terrifying. I, I'm scared. Poe, I've made it back. Here you go, buddy. Poe is doing fantastic. Let's go ahead and grab the blaze rods and the ender pearls, which are in my inventory. Let's go ahead and grab some wood, cobblestone. Let's also craft a spare shield, a bow with one arrow. But I do have access to snow and snowballs can be used to break end crystals, which I found out in a previous video of mine. So let's just grab as much snow as I can. I think I'm finally geared up to kill the ender dragon. Poe, I will be back, buddy. Because now it's time for me to find the the thing. I, I didn't even see where it went. So thus begins my search for the stronghold. There was a lava lake here the entire time? So it's like right here. Yep, literally right here on this block. I'm sorry if this is counts as cheating, but let me just make sure. The eye says it's there! Huh? Hold on, watch, watch, watch. The eye is going perfectly straight down. So why is it not right there? All right, now all I have to do is find the end portal. Found it. That's how I get level 30, killing silverfish, okay. I'm a little scared, I'm, I'm kind of scared of this, but I don't have a choice, I have to go. In three, two, one, let's do this. Will the snowball strategy work? Eh. Yes, it worked. Awesome. Let's see if I can get these two caged ones first, and then we'll go back for the taller ones. Right there. Perfect. Eh. Darn it. Come on. Hit it right there. Come on. Oh! It's done. All the crystals are done. The dragon's perching. Dragon's perching. I'm sorry, this is just way too funny. This is, Enderman's really trying to get to the dragon, but he's just getting hit back every time. Enderman is just not having a good time right now. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Crap, he's not perched anymore. I was being funny. But I think it's time to take him down. I have one shot. Let's make it count. You taking your shot? I'm gonna take mine. I did it! Dragon is down! The experience is all mine! Oh, this is perfect! Oh, I went in the portal. The dragon egg, honestly, could probably just stay here for now because that is not my current goal. My current goal is that right there. With 
new loot acquired. I used my experience from the dragon to upgrade my sword to be almost perfect. And using a book I found in the Stronghold's library, I was able to add on Breaking 3 to my Elytra. But I did have one close call. No! Poe! Oh, are you okay, buddy? I was a tank, dude. He just took that like it was nothing. All right, so here's my dilemma. I don't really have any gunpowder and I would like to be able to fly around, which means I'm gonna need a few materials. I think building it right here should be okay. So let's pillar up a bit and build the farm. And that takes care of those materials for the build. So now it's time for everything else. I was just flying over to try to get some more wood. Oh crap. Okay, let's put let's go ahead and put some stuff away. Dude, you gotta go inside, buddy. Okay, the zombies are actually attacking them. That's good. Come on, little buddy. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Come on, little buddy. There you go. Oh my gosh. I could die right now. Okay, okay. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay, we got that. Hit the bow. Oh no. Up up here. I'll block your shot. You hit the zombies. The zombies will get mad at them. I got him. It was an entirely different type of flying altogether. All right, just gonna tough it out, tough it out. Evoker right there. I gotta, I gotta stop him. I can't even see where he is. Oh gosh, vexes. Vexes, vexes, no, 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 not the vexes. Nope, I'm not, I'm not risking that. If I can go in for the evoker, I will take it. I don't need to win the raid. I literally just need to survive. I can't even find the evoker. Wait, he died, he died. I got it. I got a totem. I got a totem. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. My little AGN totem from last season is a bit smaller now, so it's not as much as my face. The totem is back and I've survived a raid. Um, I should probably feel a bit bad about that. Anyways, back to material gathering. Remember at the start of the video when I said I may have found a spot to build my base? Well, I really like it, but I had to do some terraforming before I can build. For this project, I looked at the terrain and thought about how it would naturally generate in a Minecraft world, rounding the dirt off so it was flat, but not jarringly different to how it was before. So if we fly up here, we can now see that all of this area has been cleared out and terraformed. It looks good in my opinion. I think I did a pretty good job with it, but now it's finally time to build my base. All right, the base is done on the outside. That looks incredible, but it's not anywhere close to being done. And Poe, I think your bamboo is getting a little long, buddy. You might have to uh, take care of some of that, okay? All right, I grabbed all this stuff, and now it's time to head on to the interior. So if I drop down here, you can see the interior looks pretty bad. And as you can tell right now, the floor is rather ugly. So if I do a little spin, we can now see that it is made of jungle wood, which I hope is better. And I put some water here in the front so that way when I drop down, I can just land in the water without taking fall damage because my elytra will break soon and I don't want to have to deal with that. But next up, I'm going to do the walls and the walls will be made of dark oak. So the idea for these walls is that they start off kind of further away and they cave their way upwards, which is much different than I'm used to doing for builds. I've never really done something in this style before. So uh, I'm kind of experimenting here. Hopefully it looks good. And now all four walls are done. And now we can move on to the little bits inside the walls. That made no sense. The corner walls are now done, which means we can move on to the center parts of each wall. I need to find which wall is facing north, which is this one. And using my moss blocks, I can build a wall with the letter N to signify that it's north. I can also use the bones and string from the mob farm to add some glow berries and maybe a flower or two. I'll go ahead and do something similar for the other three. And now all four walls are done on the inside. So if I take a second to fly on in. Oh my gosh. Oh, that scared me. Dude, that was freaky as heck. Okay, there goes my totem. But anyways, using a similar concept as before, I went ahead and built these little hallways that'll lead to the storage rooms. All right, now it's time to work on the, what's gonna be my storage room. And we're gonna go one block back and let's add four stripped cherry wood like that. And then in the center here, we can put some more cherry wood as well as some on each of side. And then in this section here, I'm gonna have blocks that label what each storage silo is. Storage silo, as if this is a very complex machine. I'm just having some double chests here and then the, it'll be indicated by the chest. 
That made no sense either. Look, all you need to know is that I'm labeling the chest. So after finishing this room, I replicated it three more times using different wood types for the different categories of items that'll be stored here. And with this, these are the last few chests. And now all four sides are complete. I think this has turned out really well so far. And I know which way north is, which is kind of cool. Taking a break from building, I went searching for another elytra to repair mine since it was almost broken. I probably shouldn't have flown over the void just then, but whatever. But I found one pretty quickly, looted the end city, found a very good pickaxe, combined the elytras, and found one more just to be safe. All right, I got another spare elytra, and now I should be able to head on out of here. I'm going to keep this stuff here because I want to note that I'm going to come back. But that over there is another end city, but it doesn't have a ship, sadly. Wait, that's... Wait, what? There's three with another... Okay, then, well, if you're insisting on it, what the heck? Okay, make that two more. With my new elytras, I flew around, grabbing blocks to detail my base, as right now, it's still a bit plain, including more cherry wood. Oh, that raid is still happening. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I have a chance to get a totem back, though, don't I? Hold on a second, hold on a second. Yeah, right there. That evoker. Got him. Hit him. He summoned vexes, but it's okay. I can grab the totem. I got him. And I just gotta fly away. Yes! Yes, I got my totem back. Po! I have another totem. Are you so proud of me? All right, fine. I think he's a bit grumpy because he doesn't have his bamboo. Um, so here you go, buddy. Anyways, flying down here, you can see that the base is fully detailed. I complemented the moss with green concrete, added bamboo to the middle, replaced the back walls with bamboo planks, but most importantly, finished the storage rooms. Each room is now dedicated to a specific set of items with each chest now properly labeled. Not only that, but each section has a different utility room, including my bedroom. But there is one detail missing here and I wanted to add the dragon egg, but that that just doesn't seem right. Also, I'm gonna have to break the bottom block because the dragon egg's gonna disappear if I don't do that. And I'm gonna, okay, I should not have done this bit. As you can tell, having the dragon egg there would be a hassle. So I wanna put something special here. Just having regular block doesn't feel right, like obsidian, it doesn't really feel right. So I wanna add a lodestone. But to get a lodestone, I need netherite. And to get netherite, I need to head to the nether. I feel like that was very self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and place one TNT every three blocks, maybe? As far as everything else goes, I guess I just light that up and run. Ooh, there's some right there. And if you're wondering why my ancient debris is green, it's because it's a lot easier to see this way. So this gets me up to seven, and that only took like forever to get which means i need a faster way to get gunpowder and what better way to do that than to build a creeper farm yay digging more dirt haven't done enough of that in this episode luckily this design by shulkercraft is easy to build so it didn't take long this farm uses snow golems to lure the creepers towards the middle meaning i didn't need to worry about redstone the only annoying thing about this farm was getting all the trapdoors it took a lot of trapdoors just out of curiosity let's see my statistics and what the heck what mod is this? Oh, better stats. I did not realize I had... Okay, for some reason, I didn't realize I had better stats here, but I have placed double the amount of dirt that I've mined, and I have mined 3,000 dirt, so... Uh... Yeah, I might have a problem. Maybe I should use nether active... Oh, how convenient. That was... Rather odd. Now it's time to put this TNT to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a TNT every two or three blocks. And hopefully this is a good idea. All right. My camp is right here. So I'm going to stop that there. Let's go ahead and light it up. And I'm just going to block it off a little bit. You know, depending on where this... Um, okay. Depending on where this goes, I hope I don't blow up my starter camp area. Did I find my original mining spot? That was my- was this my original mining spot? That is so weird. How? That is what, the fifth time I've done that? How on earth could I possibly... Make that six times. And checking around the ore is always good. Always check around your ores, guys. Always check around your ores. Unless this is a separate vein. I have no idea. Wait, what is a separate vein? 
It was a separate thing! That makes seven. Well, let's get out of the nether. This has been way too long spent on trying to get ancient debris. Oh, I've made it back again. Which means even though you just ate some bamboo like right in front of my face, you could have even more. And you know what? While that's smelting, I'm gonna go ahead and take some of my lapis. And I think it's about time for me to get some level 30 enchantments on my armor. And now I have fully enchanted diamond armor and tools. And now if I head on over to my brand new base, I can fly down in here and make all of my gear into netherite so let's go ahead and make all of my gear into how do you do this i forgot turns out i forgot the netherite upgrade templates but by flying to a nearby bastion i found when killing enderman i didn't find a template but i found a second bastion with a template in one of the chests so i upgraded my armor that had the best enchantments on them and since i can now craft a lodestone i finally finished the decorations in my room meaning poe's new home is finally complete poe welcome to your new home inside of this jungle temple What did I just do?